theater at the North Battleford Library. So I have a few more poems for you. Getting down to the nitty-gritty, I'm almost done all the ones I've written, so I will rely on you guys. Hopefully you will send me some poems that I can read for you for the club. Now let's get started. Okay, first one I have is a disappearing landmark, and it was written March the 4th, 1999. Many are disappearing against the prairie sky. Unless people do something, a way of life will die. For years they have represented a landmark to the plains. One by one they're coming down. What will hold the farmer's grain? The local elevator was a place to ship the grain by railway car onto the port. Now our highways feel the strain. It was a source of news between the farmer and the buyer. Grain prices and the chemicals that the farmer would require. The men who built these prairie forts had but one vision in their mind, to get the grain to the ocean ports and not rob the farmer blind. But now they say they can't compete. On a global scale, things must change. There's too many elevators and railways. The farmer, his life, must rearrange. With the loss of these elevators, a good many farmers won't survive. The rural life that settled this land will be in the provincial archives. The next one I have, I don't have a date for it. Um, it's called the Prairie Schooner. Most prairie folks have yet to see an ocean ship, much less the chance to sail upon the seas. The one they can claim to have seen each spring is the prairie schooner tossing soil into the breeze. They come an array of colors, red, blue, or green, dotting the level countryside with seagulls close behind. Traveling many hours with a single goal in mind is the farmer's ship of hopes and dreams not yet seen. The multi-purpose tractor is quite a unique vessel, effecting year-round tasks for hardy prairie sailors. The view from the cab does extend far and wide Beware of stones above and below the earthly swells. For the fishermen, the call of the sea is one that lures. The salt sea air and rolling waves they cannot resist. For the farmer, the calling is one that does endure. The prairie schooner keeps its tryst with the earthly mist. The next one I have is called One That Touches Every Heart. This one doesn't have a date either. We won't want to say goodbye to close friends or family. There comes a day in all our lives when a soul must now fly free. Each port of life is but a stage. Everyone does have their part and every now and then there is one that touches every heart. These are the ones we find it hard to let them leave and close the door. For on this earth we sadly know they can't return, there's no encore. As brief as life is in this world, we must learn to appreciate the special people in our lives. Time goes on. It will never wait.
Another one I wrote, I've always been interested in World War I and World War II and, and subsequent, subsequent wars since. Um, so I wrote this one. I don't have a date again. It's called Brave Young Men. To arms, to arms was their loud battle cry. So many brave young men soon would die. Defending our freedom, they did their best. Family relationships could scarce stand this test. In November, we remember these brave young men. Their comrades would relive the memories again. What war can do to families and friends. Why wars must not happen and peace never end. By wearing a poppy, we honor these lads who never came home to be husbands and dads. Numerous white crosses dot the French countryside. Will peace, love, and respect on this earth ever reside? And the last poem that I have today is called A School Reunion, on a little lighter note. Okay. Um, this was written actually in 1998 because it was my 20 years of being out of high school. So here we go. Two consecutive decades have simply flown by since the class of 78 said a final goodbye to friends and teachers with tears and a sigh. Last but not least to good old Stobart High. Many of us thought the adult world was the place to be. Away from textbooks and exams, we would all be free. No one would be there to tell us what we had to do. What life was all about, we certainly didn't have a clue. I think most of us didn't realize just what we had. We all wanted our freedom from the mums and dads. We thought we would see each other all the time. Hey, we were 18 years old and truly in our prime. We found out the hard way that life has its ups and downs, whether it's being single, married, or with kids around. We had a profound beginning at Old Stobart High. It certainly is marvelous to see you girls and guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed those poems today and we will see you next time for poetry, the Poetry Club Online. You take care.